Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your Sunday self-improvement reading for the week of October 4th, 2020. Um, this may not resonate with everyone, so if it doesn't, maybe check your rising sign or your moon sign, and that may help. Um, all the cards that I use will be listed down below in the description box. We're going to start with a Oracle of the Unicorns card. These are the ones I got last week, and I absolutely love because they're just so pretty. I do love my unicorn. So, Gemini's Sunday self-improved reading. What's the card for Gemini? What does Gemini need to hear? Tell me about what Gemini needs to hear. Whoops. What did you get? Oh, balance. Time to <laughs> Take time to relax. Indulge a little more or less. Set boundaries with your work. Oh, wow. I understand what this is about. I think especially with Geminis, that we're like the energizer of bunnies and we just keep going and going and going and going. And this is reminding you that you need to find balance. And no matter how important your work is or what you're doing is, that you do have to take time to recharge. And don't laugh. I'm thinking that when I see this, I'm thinking it makes me think of a battery. And here are the ends, and it's getting charged. Strange. But they look electric to me. Take time to relax, indulge a little more or less, set boundaries with your work. So, whatever you're doing that is not for enjoyment, you need to uh, set boundaries. So, when work calls and it's at some like ridiculous hour of the evening or even the morning, you know, maybe you want to think about saying, uh, maybe not answering or, you know, letting them know that from now on, they need to call you during whatever your business hours are. Right, Gemini? You know, setting boundaries isn't easy. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was unexpected. So do we have any more cards for Gemini for their self-improvement message? for the week of October 4th, 2020, their Sunday self-improvement message. Now keep in mind, if you hear this on another day, it might mean that you're meant to hear it on that day. So I always believe that everything happens for a reason. I've actually listened to something that was like two or three years old from somebody and said, wow, but it applies to me now. <laughs> okay, let's see here. We have three cards. <laughs> We have the hangman, and this is looking at things, getting a different perspective. So whereas you might be saying, but they need me, I have to answer them now. This card is saying, wait a minute, do they really need to hear this now? Do you really need to take care of this now? He can control where he's at the hangman. You're not stuck there. So you need to change your point of view and maybe this is saying to you, you need to help them understand where your boundaries are. Because you have the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles, now here is the one time that I'm going to say it might be appropriate. The Nine of Pentacles, depending on the book that I've been reading, the different books, it talks about having all the wealth, but no love. And that would mean that you need to open up to love. And if you are putting all your time and energy into work, you're not balanced. And if you notice, now as I say that, I notice that the Nine of Pentacles, she has six on one side and three on the other. She is not balanced. Huh, that's funny. I never noticed that before. And then, Gemini, we got the Strength card. And the Strength card is, you could be dealing with a Leo. Maybe there's a Leo who doesn't see uh, or doesn't understand boundaries. Or maybe this is just saying that it's just going to take a lot of strength to stand up for yourself. And believe me, I understand that feeling because sometimes people, there's an expression some people in my family use, bulldoze over you because they know what they're doing they shouldn't do, but they make jokes about it or they laugh about it or they guilt you and they're like, but people need you or something like that. And they make it sound like you're not doing what they want immediately has a negative effect on someone else. And we both know that that sounds good and, you know, 
but it's probably not true. I mean, if you're in a, a profession where your immediate attention is needed, then yes, it's true. But in this case, no. So the first card that came out for you is the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is about taking a rest. It's about praying, meditating, and taking time to think which to me is like another version of the hangman. The hangman definitely talks about looking at it from a different point of view. And the four of swords is stopping to meditate. And, you know, you really need to stop. He's still ready for action. There's a sword still within reach. And there are three swords hanging on the wall. So it's not that he's stopped, but he's definitely thinking more. It's a meditation moment. The next thing you got was the Queen of Pentacles. And now, oh, and I said that wrong. That's so funny. I gave you the Nine of Pentacles. I told you the description of the Queen of Pentacles. She is the one who has lots of everything. And yes, she is uh, like this motherly thing where she can take care of animals and she soothes the savage beast. But she still doesn't have love like love in her life which would mean she's imbalanced and then finally you got the high priestess and the high priestess now i want to look because if i remember correctly i thought the high priestess let's see here let's put this in order again sorry gemini see i think that you can get to the high priestess but you have to take time and think and you are still focused on the money. So let's see something with this high priestess, because I want to say that she is all that in a box of chip, bag of chips box. Hello. Okay. Yeah, the Empress. Yes, she's the one that normally has the... Uh, Oh, I did it again. It's the High Priestess. I don't know what it is today. I keep getting my High Priestess, my Empress, all confused. High Priestess, ruled by the moon with the mark of his, of Isis, I keep saying that, on her forehead and a crucifix around her neck, symbols of spirituality. She is balanced between the pillars of peace and severity. Signifies a mystical quietness. Something remains hidden, so do not rush. Remain in a state of balance with patience and intuition. All will be revealed. And that's so funny because this whole reading, Gemini, is about finding balance. Waiting. Looking. Looking from different points of view. Having everything but not, it's still slightly out of balance. And having the strength and the patience to really think about things. So I'd say that you are on point if you're taking time. You, you, it's really all about stopping and focusing on what's going on. You have to look at this at a different point of view. There is something going on in your life. And it, to me, it looks like work is overtaking everything. So I hate to say it, but th this whole reading is finding balance, being strong, standing up for yourself, knowing when to set a boundary and to protect yourself protect your rest that's what this is you're supposed to be protecting your rest protect your rest your pentacles will be there and eventually everything you will see everything you need to see so gemini don't get pushed around you need to look at it from a different point of view wow wow so I, I'm going to actually ask the Keepers of the Light for a card, and then I'm going to let this go. I'm just kind of curious to see what the Keepers of the Light have to say. These are the Oracle cards by Kyle Gray. Say, Gemini, what does Gemini need to know? These are, uh, these are some interesting cards, and they always have such great uh, messages on them. So Keepers of the Light Oracle card, Gemini self-improvement reading. Can you give them a card? What does Gemini need to know? Oops, here we go. Seven, six. Oh, 
well, we got a couple here. Actually, there's three. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, uh, three is usually too many and they contradict. But let's see what we got here, Gemini. Oh, no, there's actually four. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that's too many. I apologize, Gemini. Give me a moment. We're going to do this another way. Five. There we go. See, it's so strange, the counting. They, they shoot them out at me. Master Buddha, increased awareness, deep connection, trust your inner voice. <laughs> this is having the strength. You're looking at it from a different point of view, and you are increasing your awareness by looking within and thinking about it. Deep connection, trust your inner voice. In other words, when you're not really interested in doing work and your inner voice is saying they can wait, I don't have to do this right now. You don't have to do this right now. So you do though, use your best judgment. This could involve your work or people in your life. And just remember, this is a reading. Uh, there is such a thing as free will. So you use your best judgment, okay, Gemini? Thank you so much for being here. If this resonates, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. Have a great week. Bye, Gemini.